Okay, so we go back now. Yeah, uh, and let's get back to implement it again. Uh, I hope this time it's going to be stable. Oh yeah, and the approach right now we're going to change is that uh, this time the function is trace safe now. Yeah, I'm going to change this and. When user receive the returning of the string variable here, they need to free it. So we're gonna note it here. User has responsibility to free the return string as such result string is created dynamically. Okay, so the same. <coughs> The same one is happening here. Okay, let's get to that current encode first. Uh, yeah. Okay, and do the same for this. I can be more pragmatic here, like a side of character and then multiply by this value. But as you know, character is already only always one byte, so we have no need to do it. But I can do it to be more clear on this. Uh, size of character and multiply by buffer. So here is the this is thing that we need to store results. A little bit of work inside this, yeah. It's not that that flexible to use, but I like it. This is the way it's of C programming. Uh, store result from person in code from each one. And what we do is that we store the pointer of the string that return from oart consumer key PDR here. So it's going to be PEN. Yeah. And what we're gonna do is that. We're gonna replace this thing here. Consumer key. You can see that I, I, I define the variable name very long and use the snake case. It is my preference. It's up to you. It's up to you. Yeah. But at first, I, I can tell you that I'm not really use snake case and uh, use the OOP language like a. Uh, what 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 I use? Swift, uh, C sharp, and things like that. Uh, C sharp first, and then I use uh, like something like a uh, Swift and Kotlin and things like that, and get used to the OOP for from from since the time I start programming. But from this part, several months I try to convert my thought into more of the data oriented designs. The things here in the engineering is going to be flat, flat light, and I start to deviate away from the OOP. Yeah, I I start to like it, and I think it's more straightforward to do things. So, but the things you see here is might not maybe some some part of it, a little bit of it might not be like a super clear that yeah, it's not super efficient yet. Maybe we yeah um, I I understand that maybe some part I I, I didn't fully. Uh, make it clean just yet but we can 
I, I, I hope that it's gradually gonna improve on this. <coughs> okay, enough for chit chat. To, to do this again for for the time step but as we already have above so our token PTR version PTR yeah and right yeah the last one Status. And now we're gonna replace those one by one. Go, 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 go. One, what is this? And when <coughs> complete this function call, uh, when whenever it's complete this function call, the result is going to store in the destination result meter screen, and that means that we ready to free those string pointer here. Save to free those string pointer now. So we can free a lot of things here. No need to do like this again, but it's good practice to do it. Free. What is that? I'm not going to do it because it doesn't matter anymore. We're not going to use it. It's going to be clear anyway because it's out of the scope. The, the, the most important thing is that we free the those pointer first before we turn. If not, it's going to be normally leak here. What is that? Uh, c come compare C to C++. What I love about C is that there's just two things that you need to focus on is the um, this function malloc here and free most of the time if you dynamically allocate things but you can go deep down to reallocate malloc something like you can man and malloc here and you can see a bunch of the relevant function call here c call lock c allocation free malloc realloc realloc f something like that 
um, mostly you're gonna use free memory allocation and reallocation as you can see here yeah this is gonna be handy whenever you want to resize the memory size so you dynamically create it first but later on you see oh i need to change the buffer or i need to expand it it's gonna help you on this and interesting thing is that uh from the from the rivalry out there popular library out there they tend to want to implement this kind of function by themselves not even linked with the standard c library standard c yeah lantern so this thing can be can be make uh implement if i remember it correctly oh there there's another tool as well there's memcpy memory copy and mem mem move i think yeah this this kind of thing can be implemented without the need to use the standard c library yeah, I'm not sure about the the, the free and mal, mal uh, memory allocation, but 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 for memory copy, definitely you can do it. I think I can show you something. Actually, in in CGLM this project, CGLM CGLM GitHub. Is the mat metric library for C is based inspired from the project, namely GLM, but it's for C++. This project is interesting is that uh, yeah, this one C GLM like if I can find it. I think they implement the memory copy by themselves without using the standard C library here name CPY yeah that, that, that's... Like 29 yeah you're gonna see it like this interesting that they implemented by themselves mem copy and also mem set yeah 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 Okay, thank you, Juke. I I pronounce your name correctly, right? Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, I will follow you back on GitHub. Thank you. Uh, my yeah, you can search my name here. Uh, just uh H A X P O R here. Yeah. Yeah, you you're gonna see it. H A X P O R. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to self promote that 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 much yeah. because someone asking me in the chat, so I'm gonna show them. You saw it already, right? Yeah. Okay. 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 Um. Uh, token pointer. We already free it version ptr okay seems that we're gonna try it now let's go back and try it My goodness, a lot of other 
but we never fear we're gonna fix it one by one never fear 55 okay 55 55 55 55 oh. Come again. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. My goodness, this is a lot of things. Can do something wrong? Oop. Okay. Uh, I use normal terminal native app that bundle with the Mac OS, so command K is going to clear all of the buffer of the terminal. Incompatible pointer to integer. Rule. Yep, I forget to define the, this is the pointer. This is the pointer. This is the pointer. Make. Yeah. Three. Oh, okay, because we expect to have not constant pointer to character. Can I? This is trade, it's not the correct one. Uh, maybe I, I remote to my Ubuntu server here and then Try to see the manage page of free. Uh huh. It's not the function of the standard C library anyway. Mm, not help at all. Exit. Oh. Quick. Okay. Da -ra -ra. Okay. I, I need to remove the constant here. Because yeah, if it's constant, free cannot work on that on such Python, I think. So uh, oh, what 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 should make oh it's return as the okay we can just ignore it seventy seven Oh, this is totally wrong. It should not be the size of pointer. It need to be size of this. Because size of the pointer is constant. It's 32 bit or 64 bit depending on the system. Yeah, here as well. It's not size. Seven warning generate. 
we don't care at the, mo at the moment. Let's execute it. <sighs> Still the same or not? Oh, it's, it's okay now. Yeah, 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 it's okay now. So it's working fine now that we fix the function to not to be trace safe and also uh, we push the burden to the user a little bit that user need to free the return string here so in this case we need to create free return string here so free signature string and we need to include okay include already standard lips and that's it let's shake it a little bit Six nature string OAuth consumer key equal to OAuth consumer key. Okay, that's correct. And OAuth knows blah 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 42 42 character in length. Let's check it whether it's 42 character in length or not. Echo and N mean is not going to add new line. WC. Okay, it's 42 character. And uh, what else? OAuth signature method is hash map hyphen sha1 okay it's correct and what time step time step is here it's going to be 10 10 character in length okay it's correct what token or token correct what version 1.0 correct as well and status is going to be ladies space in which case it's percent encode into percent 20 and plus plus encode into percent 2b is correct as well yeah, gentlemen. Okay, so it's all fine at the moment. We can move on. Correcting parameter section we complete now. Yeah, from this total of seven step. Yeah, so we're gonna move on to another one. Um yeah, actually actually we should implement the get environment value from your bash profile on your terminal environment variable yeah so for security purpose we're gonna read consumer key from environment variable as well as token so let's do it now let's do it now uh let's do it now I, let's 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 check let's check get the nv i think the function here yeah Standard C level as well, so okay, it's okay to use it. We need to include standard lips.hash in which case in we already included. Just get env constant sha name. So what the, the process for this is that I'm gonna uh to five ten so we use get env function to read the value of that environment variable so you need to uh, the first step is you need to modify your bash script if you're on Linux and or maybe Mac OS Mac OS you modify this file and then you add export and then your environment var name here equal to blah 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 you, you add right and then you save the file and remember to source it we are this command source it yeah to make it active at the current session of the terminal window and next step is we are going to go back to the C code and use get env function and the name is going to be environment var name here so we get back the string of blah 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 yeah so we're gonna use this approach to plug in user consumer key and also token at least increase a little bit of security so it depends on your setting on your trust machine uh, because I for for this minimalist Twitter CMI yeah, I'm not going to go overboard like uh, uh, to publish the app and let user download and use it so they have no need to go to the Twitter developer app, create the app, get the consumer key. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, because I just want to use it personally. I just want to tweet it via the command line with the tools I create myself. And yeah, so I have no need to like uh, 
spare attention away from the terminal. Uh, so I just grab it, consumer key, consumer secret, or token, token secret from from my app in the dashboard of the Twitter, and then plug it in like like this way that I described to you three step here. So it's simple for personal use case or just single user, or few user. So yeah, yeah. Mm. So this project is going to be actually it's in I I post this on post this on GitHub as well. So you can go to my profile and then the project name is TT. Uh -huh. Yeah. So every change we make, we're gonna push it on on that, and then you can grab the things and you can look it from up to the moment that you see on the stream how things go, and you can take a look at it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. So here, just we're gonna use this approach. Then let's try with. Uh, let's try with. Let's try with. Um, I think you guys are gonna see the my consumer key and exit token anyway for now. So I think I am not going to to hide it anymore, <laughs> and I'm gonna share it later. Anyway. So we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna grab. We're gonna grab it. We're gonna grab. Grab, 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 grab. I think we should. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna source this first. Okay, source this already. Let's see in the source. TT. Consumer key. Exit token. Um. Okay. Uh, let's make sure that we no need to free the return string here. Get in here. This function is unset. Get function. Book function. Oh, okay, you can use the API of the C standard library here to push the environment variable into the profile as well. Okay, let's take a look at return values. Get the environment function return the value of environment variable as a non terminal string. If the variable name is not in the current environment, non will return. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, seems like we have no need to, to care about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have no need to care that we need to flee the return string. So, uh, consumer key here. Get the NV. I name it as TT consumer key here. Get what we do get this go back, 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 Okay. Uh, access. Okay, here. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna use this value across the the app. Let's let's do it better. Let's do it better. Uh, yeah, and and I can I can tell you at at first that even though we increase the security a little bit, that read uh, consumer key and also access token from from a variable, but at the end, you can just do something like this. 
string tt dot out or string s I think. Yeah, it's going to find the string that exists in your executable binary and print it all. Yeah, so. They're gonna know it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for for the project of like a Twitter URL twelve, yeah, is a command line base that Twitter created, and let developer use it to test stuff to use it as a command line. They store exit token and consumer key and things like that as the text in external file. Yeah, as a uh, plain text. So so you can go to your folder and take a look at it. Hmm. Yeah. So in this case, I think we can, we can we can follow the approach as well. Uh, increase a little bit more security because token is saved on your personal home directory, so other people cannot see it. So the app is going to read those value from such file oh interesting yeah 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 should we do it now should we do it now We can do it later. Yeah. We can do it later. Increase security a little bit. But for now, let's let's use get environment first. Uh, I'm not expect a hacker to, to hack on this stuff. I can regenerate and rework the exit token. Yeah 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 yeah. Let's do this first. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's test it first. in the value here this is consumer key and this is called exit token okay um, right make it uh oh Six nature string. Oh, again. This should not be constant. Hmm? Oh, because we return as a constant. Yeah, we, we can change it. Because you can you can modify it now. It's, it's your responsibility to do things, so it should not be constant anymore. I'm gonna remove that as well. Forty-eight. Let's go to the top. Right. Conflict type. Percent in code. TT general signature.
What a... What a... What a... What a... What a... What a... Set the fire. So, yeah. So you will see my consumer key and exit token now. I'm gonna regenerate later. It's for now. It's okay. Oh, odd noise. Comes that war token. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's okay. The approach is done, and it's correlated with the value from the environment variable. Yeah, and I think uh, we are at the three hours mark now for this stream. I'm going to I going to end the stream now and then continue the work tomorrow. But before that, I'm gonna I'm gonna save it. Push the thing. Whoa. Yeah, there's a bunch of fire that I don't need to at the moment. But let's see the change. Let's see the change we made. What we do. So basically we add... We modify percent in code algorithm to be traced and return dynamically our create string for user and we initially work on the signature generation at oh no 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 it should not be all my bad reset hate not not going to be there uh Plan not going to be there. Hex to be not going to be there. Output not going to be there. Just this two, three file. Commit. I'm gonna put a good commit message here. Step generating signature. Try save for board person in code function. Right and. Consumer key and exit token from environment variables might be in fish security later. We are writing reading from external file. What else? Uh to say for robot signature generation and person code 
のー、もう、新居者、スティングサーバイバー。OK。User had response security to freedom. And that's it. Okay, so recap for today is that we make quite a progress here. Step into the first, the first step in collecting parameter of, in order to create the signature value. Yeah, and we're gonna use this signature value along with another that we we uh, uh, collect as. Inside HTTP request before sending to update the Twitter via the REST API, yeah. And and later, later, I, I gonna we gonna use curl, not not this curl, curl API, uh, C, in C, yeah, to to make a internet request later on. For now, we not not yet ready to use that. We need to collect all the required parameters first. And yeah, so tomorrow's stream is going to be. Finishing off the signature generation. I hope, I hope so. It's not that much now. Yeah. So what what left is that we need to create a signature based string, mostly about the person in code again, and calculate the signature of all of the data inside the HTTP request. Yeah. So it's the signature is something like a used as the. Uh, To make sure that the integrity of the data package is not modified along the way, yeah, because it's in row collecting all of the parameter need to be there in the HTTP request, yeah. So yeah, that's it for now, everyone. Tomorrow, the same time, I'm going to be around nine and a half p.m. Uh, GMT past eight. Yeah. Okay, and thank you for joining, everyone. Have a good night today. Bye bye. Thank you.